What's up, everybody? Welcome to another show here on Captain Card Breaks. We have got some awesome stuff for you today. We found a couple packs hanging at the Walmart. You never really find stuff at Walmart. Walmart is always cleared out, uh, but I got lucky. I found uh, four packs of these value pack that contain two packs of 2021 Bowman packs and five exclusive uh, camo parallel cards inside. And uh, there's some really good stuff we find here. So let's go ahead and bust them open and see what we got. Uh, there's a little Don't Steal Me card. And there's your two packs. So we're going to go ahead and bust open all four of these little bad boys here. Let's do that. Here's all the odds and stuff on the back of the pack. And let's just go ahead and decide which one we're going to open first. Let's get to ripping, shall we? The first pack actually has some pretty good stuff in it. The first one I chose was the right one to choose right off the bat. Uh, you really can't see what we're looking at here. Uh, we got a Corey Mize rookie card. Casey, sorry, a Casey Mize rookie card. Then we've got a DV Garcia rookie card. A Jake Cronenworth rookie card. Looks like Bowman's are stacked with rookies and prospects. I like that a lot. Uh, we got some Chrome stuff going on back there in the back end. We got a Luis Camposano rookie card. There's my boy, Ronald Acuna Jr. Uh, incredible baseball player. Just fantastic. We're putting him in his own little stack over here, so I'm going to stick him right there. And then we've got a numbered Vladimir Guerrero Jr., number 53 of 99, green border parallel card. Very, very cool. There's only 99 of them, apparently, and I've got one of them. Uh, then we got some rookie stuff, some talent pipeline three rookie card sets and I'm sorry about the glare you guys I'm I'm new here <laughs> this is a camo border card and they are the special insert camo border cards that is Max Meyer uh, I don't know if those are rookie cards or not I'm not sure they might be all prospects I'm not exactly sure how it works I, I didn't really take pay too much attention to what's going on with them I will go back through and see exactly what we got later on uh, nothing special there. Here's another, here's a chrome uh, insert there. Alex Thomas. Very cool. It might be his first Bowman. I'm not sure what. I think I might be just putting the chrome prospects up top. Uh, Wander Franco. I wonder if he's related to Julio Franco. Maybe. Maybe not. We got Josh Young. We got Garrett Mitchell. And a first Bowman of um, Choi, uh, Hun Lee Choi, I believe is his name. Anyway, that's the first pack. Gonna go ahead and bust open the second pack here. Again, I like these cards. This is the first set of Bowmans I picked up this season. Uh, I dig them. I used to like Bowmans when I was a kid, and there's some really cool throwback stuff that they've included in this set. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not even showing you the cards. That's Jacob Degrom, and then you got a uh, Clevenger, Mike Clevenger. These are all just regular inserts. Matt Chapman, hell of a ball player. Uh, Javier Baez, over on the Cubbies. Um, Whit Merrifield, maybe? I'm not sure what the first name was. Joe Adele, there's a rookie card. Uh, and we got these Futurists cards. And this one is Asa Lacey. And actually, I think I end up with two of these guys. Uh, doubles eventually here with this guy. But what a neat looking card. It's all colorful and chromey and shiny and... Yeah, again, you can't see. Uh, there's a lot of glare going on in here. I, I'll, I'll work on the lighting. I, I Unfortunately, I wasn't able to actually see the camera lens when I was doing some more of these camo cards. The camera uh, was up above me, and I, I thought I had it dialed in right for the angles, but I apparently did not. So luckily, I'm able to move the cards around. There's an Ed Howard. Looks like a chrome prospect. I love these chrome cards. They're, they're gorgeous. They almost look 3D the way the guy is kind of like coming out from the background. Uh, it's very, very neat looking. And the, the card stock itself is super quality. Uh, I don't know, you know, I don't know terms. Let's not act like the captain's technical about anything he's doing here. Uh, but the card stock seems to be very, very nice. Already on to pack three. Let's just get to rip in. There we go. A key Brian Hayes rookie card right off the bat. Now it's just a regular rookie card from this set. But again, I'm looking for rookies. I like rookies. I like, uh, you know. First, first Bowman's, those are fun. There's a Cattell, Mar Cattell Marte, a Joey Votto, uh, Keston Huria, and another 
pretty neat card, a rookie card, rookie of the year favorites, Casey Mize. It's super shiny, different colors, and I guess that's considered a chrome. I really don't know. I don't know much about the Bowman sets. Uh, and again, just getting back into this stuff, the last Bowman set I bought was like 1993 Bowmans. Uh, then we got a top 100 prospect card. Uh, I forgot the guy's name there. I, it's too late now. That's on the table. <laughs> and then we got a camo bordered uh, CJ Chatham. Uh, then we got a Drew Waters as Atlanta Brave. A Logan Davidson. A Josh Tana, I believe. Or maybe Jose Tana as a first Bowman Chrome. And I'm not sure where to put that, so, hmm, looks like uh, there was a first Bowman down the corner. Ah, well, no, no, just stick it there with the Chromes, whatever. We got Antonio Reyes. Another first Bowman Chrome. Cabrera. Eduardo Cabrera, maybe? It's getting hard to read them. Clayton Beater. What a name. Beater. I got a buddy we've been calling Beater since he was like 12 years old. It's a long story, and you probably can understand how he got the nickname Beater. Pack number four. Rip Town. Population Captain Retro. Let's see what we got here now. J.D. Martinez. Pretty neat. Regular insert card. Um, Brian Hayes? I can't read that first name. This is, uh, this is impossible. <laughs> I need to do this stuff live and not with a microphone. Um, Leody Tavares. Rookie card. Jazz Chisholm. Rookie card. I like Jazz. He's a, he's a heck of a little ball player there out of the Marlins. And this. Look how cool this is. Ronald Acuna throwback chrome uh, again these look like the Bowman's I remember from my childhood just a straight up picture of the dude that back of the card is straight up old school 1990s Bowman style I really really like this card a lot it's gonna get a sleeve and a protector I don't know what it's worth I don't care Acuna is my boy there's a futurist uh, Mick Abel another awesome card look at the colors on that it's just outstandingly well put together uh, some more camo borders. We got a Matthew Thompson, a Colton Welker, and I think these are all prospects pretty much. If they're in the camo parallel border, it's a prospect card. Uh, Brennan Davis Chrome, Truxton Karras. I'm not sure if that name was correct. Drew Waters again. That's a double of him now. So there's a couple doubles popping up. A couple extra cards we've seen here, here and there. Um, I'm not sure exactly where to put Drew. I thought Drew, that might not be a rookie card. Drew has a prospect card that I got earlier. I'm not sure what I'd do with that, but it's now in a different stack. I end up going through them later on. But there's another numbered card. We've got a Reyes. A Denso Reyes shortstop. 68 of 75 yellow border first Bowman rookie card. Prospect card, whatever you want to call it. Pretty neat. I think this is pack number six. Here we go. Got a Buster Posey, a Garrett Cole, Austin Meadows, Bubik, Alex Bubik, I believe is his name, Alec Bubik, Tyler Stevenson, rookie card, the Bubik was a rookie card as well. There's another throwback style, Wander Franco, I believe that's, he's a rookie as well, I could be wrong, I thought I saw a Wander Franco rookie card, maybe not. Maybe I just saw one of those and I put it up top. It's pretty neat. Not sure what to do with it. Stick it right there with the uh, the Acuna. Uh, there's another futurist. A, a Mick. My I'm sorry, a Max Meyer futurist card. Uh, and then we got some more camo borders. The Tyler Freeman. I believe his name is Fredis Nova. Ja uh, Jason Dominguez. All these chromes are so cool looking. That's just a cool look. Even, even that guy's just barely running, and I'm like, that's a cool looking card. Uh, Nick Lofton looks like a skinny little kid. Marco Feliciano. Aaron Sabato. And Josh Salas. Or Jose Salas. I can't read. It's too bright. It's too shiny. I'm terrible at this. Thanks for watching. Looks like we're down to three packs left. We're going to take the one in the middle. Here we go. Let's get to ripping. 
What kind of magic are we going to pull out of this pack? Who knows? Let's check it out. I, I, a Garcia, somebody Garcia. There's another Jake Cronenworth rookie. Uh, that card is hard to see, but another rookie card. Uh, another Ronald Acuna Jr. This pack is almost identical to the first pack we ripped out with the Acuna in it. In fact, that's the same card, so a double. Uh, there's a Dylan Carlson throwback style rookie card. Very cool, very, very cool shot. Uh, it's just old school. I love the old school poses. The backs of that card, they look great. We're going to stick him over here. I don't know why. We've made a whole new pile. Then we're going to start going through these things. Be like, I don't know. Well, okay, this guy goes here. I guess those guys can go there because they're like throwback looking. I don't know. Let's keep Acuna together. There's another Futurist. Another uh, Josh Abel Futurist. Uh, some camo border stuff again. That guy's got a crazy long name. Um, I can't read that dude's name. This is terrible. Now I know better. I will zoom in next time. We'll get some better angles, better shots. You can actually see the cards. There won't be a giant light blasting in your face. But who's even watching this stuff? Nobody's watching this stuff. I'm doing this because I wanted to do it. So that's what we're here for. Look at that guy. I don't know who he is. Can't read the name. Something Poisson? P Puasin? I have no idea. There's a Trammel. Is he related to um, Mike Trammel? I, I, Alan Trammell? I'm not sure. I'm not sure who that's supposed to be. Travis Trammell? Maybe? I'm not sure. Maybe he's uh, Alan Trammell's kid. That'd be cool. Down to the second to last pack. What do we got in here? Oh, this this thing's crazy. It's all It just keeps attacking me. And Look at it. It came right back. Wow. This thing's nuts. Tejada. Anderson Tejada. I like that it starts off with just rookie card after rookie card after rookie card. There's another rookie card. I don't know who that guy was. Uh, Nate Pearson, another rookie card. Xander Bogarts. Paul Goldschmidt, heck of a ball player. I usually have him on my fantasy teams on my uh, Major League show. There's Josh Bell. Here's another talent pipeline. Three rookies on the same card type situation. Chrome action. Pretty neat. Some more camouflage cards. Brandon Davis. Pete Crow Armstrong. What a name. Something Watson. I, again, I'm, it's hard to read these. It's terrible. Miguel Amaya. Matthew Liberator. Liberator? Matthew Liberator. I don't really know. Carol, Drew Carroll, Anthony Volpe. Something in the middle. Not sure who that guy was. Good stuff. This is great. I'm amazing at this. You guys were having so much fun here. We're down to the last pack. I'm amazing at this. I don't know if you've noticed that uh, I can barely read the cards. You can barely see who's on them. I got to get better at filming this stuff. And the problem with it is you get one chance. If you don't do it right, you have effed it up. So I've effed this one up. We're five or so videos deep on this channel. And I think this is the first one I've effed up. So that's pretty impressive. Uh, if you go to the Captain Retro regular channel, you'll notice that uh, the first, oh, maybe year's worth of videos that I ever put up are no longer available to watch because they are that terrible. Uh, I hate them. There's a Max Scherzer. I like that guy. He's a good pitcher. Chris Bryant. Uh, anyway, uh, I don't really know what I'm doing here. I'm new to this type of thing of opening things and showing them to a camera. Uh, it's not its not really what I do. There's another numbered card. Look at that bad boy. We got a Rookie Prospects, Talent Pipeline, Oswald Peraza, Trevor Stephan, and Armando Alvarez. Number 12 of 125 numbered cards. That's very cool. I was hoping the next one behind it would have numbers. It did not. Uh, it is another two, two in a row of the triple rookie cards, and then we get a little stack of some more camo borders, which are neat. It's like a digital camo, too. It doesn't look too, you know, military. It looks much more like something on a Call of Duty gun. I kind of like that border. There's a Taylor Trammell and a uh, whoever that is, Rodriguez. <laughs> this I'm just not going to edit this this. Uh, any more of this nonsense either, by the way. 
uh, let's just go with it. You know what I mean? What are we doing here? Nobody's watching. It doesn't matter. This is just fun for me. You like the draw, uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula pad that we're using there? That's a trans light for a pinball machine. If you like pinball machines, if you like arcade machines, and you have no idea who I am or what my channel is, really, uh, this channel is for opening stuff. The other channel is all about pinball and arcades and, and arcade machines and fixing them and finding them and restoring them and selling them and doing all kind of stuff with them and just having a great time. And then I kind of got the bone to start picking baseball cards and stuff again. So I started a second channel so I wouldn't annoy the other people on my other channel. Go check out my regular channel, Captain Retro. This channel is called Captain Card Breaks, and I am amazing at it. Thank you so much for watching this show. Hooray. Captain, Captain Retro is Captain.